Okay. Oh. So starting to lie on your back. Find a comfortable position there. Have your legs a comfortable distance apart from each other. The feet falling out to the side. And have your arms beside you like Shavasana, corpse pose. And just allow your breath to fall into its natural rhythm. Allow yourself to arrive. Notice how your body feels today. How is it lying there right now? And again, without trying to fix anything, just notice some parts of your body might be more into the ground than others. Just notice how your hands are turned. You're not changing, you're not fixing. You're just taking stock of how the body is right now. Just notice how you're meeting yourself today. And just a little reminder that it's not important to hold on to the instructions that I give you or to do the thing right. Just it's more important to keep coming back to what's happening with me what's happening in my body, where are things moving, where are things not moving, what is connected, what moves also if you move one part of your body. And allow yourself to come back to being human, right? that humanness of yourself. Nobody's asking you to be superhuman or to do more than your body can handle. You decide whether you go too far or past your edge or whether you stay in the realm of your true self, your raw self, and your authentic self. Just remember you are human and embrace that beautiful opportunity to live this humanness and with all your great ideas and decisions or also your natural flaws and then make the you unique. Notice your breath. Is it calm? Is it fast? Is it slow? And then allowing all other things to become unimportant. Your daily tasks or whatever there is floating around in your head. And just allow yourself to be this you that you are today. And remember to do less, less effort, less wanting, less needing. 
And then keeping that in mind, I'll remind you every now and then. Begin to bend your right elbow to stand your right hand. So that your hand is elevated and your fingertips and your hand is towards the ceiling. That's it. Good. And then with the next inhale, so your hand is soft. It's just hanging out there. No stiffness in the fingers or hands or anything. Just hanging out there. The palm is just hanging to the inside. Yeah, let it drop. That's it. Good. <laughs> That's it. So Lucy, let the, I mean, Louise, let the, the hand drop towards your belly kind of, but so the wrist is, that's it, lovely. Good. Good. And then keep that kind of just hanging there of the wrist. And with the next inhale, let there be a kind of waft of air and that lifts your elbow and raises the whole arm a little higher and then exhale, lower it down again. Mm -hmm. And then lower it down on the exhale. And do that a few times. So the inhale, there's a waft of air and that lifts your elbow from the shoulder and exhale, lower it down. Good. And just imagine it's like a puppet's arm. So there's something around your wrist that like a string that's lifting up. And then exhale down. Good. Good. And down again. Good. Lifting up and every time that you lift, come a little higher and then lower it down again. Mm -hmm. Good. And then the next time that you inhale, lift it up so that the arm is almost completely up towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And the shoulder blade is still resting. Your wrist is soft, good. And then keep the arm up there but almost without effort. So your arm is straight and towards the ceiling. There's a little micro bend in the elbow, but yeah, let it be up there. Good. And there's almost no effort because the top of your top arm is in that hip, in that uh, shoulder socket. And it's kind of lying in there. Good. And then Stay there, keep the arm up there and try to relax everything else. Notice if any parts of your body have wanted to tense and work with you, relax at all, but keep the arm there. And then begin to lift as if you want to reach something towards, like your hand wants to reach toward the ceiling. Reach it, right? So the shoulder blades come, that right shoulder blade comes off the floor. Again, like a puppet. So something is pulling your hand up towards the ceiling and then your shoulder blades does come off the floor, that right shoulder blade. And let any parts of your body come along with it. All right, so we come, get back in touch with the fluids in the body. Let there be fluidity in the movement. So your right arm is reaching up and then lower the shoulder blade down again. It's reaching up and then down again. Yes, that's it, Louise. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And just notice what other parts of the spine, of the torso, how, what is the head doing? Is it rolling to one side as you do this? And come back to doing less and let it be a puppet movement kind of reaching up. Something is pulling your right arm up. Mm -hmm. Go do that one more time. Reach and then let the shoulder blade rest again, but the arm is still elevated and up towards the ceiling. Good. And then Begin to, so now the, the movement is from the shoulder blade. So you're lifting the shoulder blade and lowering it down again. And you can do this motion a little bit faster. So it's as if you're kind of thud, 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 thud your shoulder blade on the floor. And it doesn't have to be so high. It can be very small, very, just maybe a centimeter. So lifting the shoulder blade and down again into the floor. So we get two, two, down, down, yes. It's like you're flapping your wing, the one wing, the right wing. 
Good, and then let that go. Release your arms softly back beside your body. Release it onto the floor. Notice both sides. Notice the breathing. Good. And we'll leave it up to the body to bring that into the other side. So let's bring, let's just leave the arms where they are and begin to bring <coughs> excuse me, the awareness into your hip area, your glutes, the pelvis, the hip joints, the hip bones. Do they, the hip bones, do they feel in your organization of yourself as you're lying there right now? Do they feel like they're kind of facing the ceiling equally? Or does one feel higher than the other or lower? All right. Just noticing how they feel, how they lie there. Good, and then bend your knees one at a time and begin to stand your, your feet. Mm -hmm. and bring your knees so close that there is no effort in your thighs if you remember we, we did this a few times so have your feet let them feel like their hips distance a little closer towards your buttocks and then find that spot where your knees are almost kind of in the center of the sole of your foot and they're and they're just kind of swaying there you don't have to use your thighs or your belly to keep them there. So there's no effort in your legs. You can just have your legs standing there without any tension in the thighs or the hips. Good. And then very gently, these are very little movements again. They, they can be seen a little bit, but they're not major. Um, press the left sole of the foot fully into the floor, but gently. And see if that makes your right hip lift gently. But it doesn't have to come off the floor. It just, it just kind of rolls it. Or just press your sole into the floor and the foot and see what, what that makes your hip do. Yeah, yeah. And do even less so that really it's only the right foot pressing into the floor and see what ripples there, what, what moves with it kind of, and then let it go again. All right, so press in and let go. Mm -hmm. And notice if your left leg wants to do something too, allow it to rest. Good. And then do press the foot a little bit more into the floor so that you do find this kind of a little bit of a rocking motion of your right hip, almost lifting a little bit or rolling towards your left side. Mm -hmm. And every time you come back, it's like tabula rasa, you start from start from scratch again, right? You rest fully once you let go of that pressing of the sole and the foot into the floor. Mm -hmm. Good, and then let that go. Let your legs just stand. Notice your breath. Notice your hands and arms. Are they softly lying beside you? Or are they trying to work with you? And then bring your awareness into the left foot. And do the same here, gently press the sole of the foot into the floor so that you find that kind of movement of the left hip rocking over towards the right. Yes. And it's really no effort, right? It's just a kind of little, little impulse of your foot and then watch the ripple movement. 
and to the hips. Allow the right leg to be soft and resting as much as it can. Keep doing a few of those movements, just pressing the left foot into the floor. Good, and then, then change that every time. So press the left into the floor, the left hip lifts gently, then press the right foot into the floor and the right hip lifts gently. So now you're rocking from side to side, pressing one foot into the floor and then the other. And maybe Chris, bring your feet a little bit further apart. Maybe try that out, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can do it a little bit faster if you want to try so that you find this kind of rocking in the hips. Mm -hmm. But the, the glute mus muscles don't switch on, right? It's really only that impulse of your feet in the floor that's lifting. They work a little bit, but they don't do the work, right? They are switched on a little bit too, but they don't do the work, the glutes. Okay. Good, and then rest that, let your legs either be where they are or stretch them out on the floor, whatever. Feels good right now, good. Yeah, you can have them standing and towards the center, that's fine too. And just notice your breath there. Good, and then you can decide, you can do this with bent or with straight legs. You decide for yourself, you can change that as we go along as well. And um, begin to lift your right arm again. So just bring it up so that it's kind of towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, legs are resting. Good, and then, so the wrist is soft, the hand, uh, just bend at the wrist, Louise. Just let the hand hang, the hand, the wrist, that's it. <laughs> Lovely. And then find that string attached around your wrist again and let it move up towards the ceiling, lifting the shoulder a little bit and then back down again. So do the same movement we did before. So you're kind of reaching, something is pulling your arm towards the ceiling and your shoulder blade lifts off the floor and you're kind of rolling up towards the ceiling. You can do a little bit of a bigger movement here. With no effort, again, try to not strain anything. Let it be a smooth and fluid movement and you're lifting a little bit higher. And notice as you do this, as you let that move become bigger, what are your legs doing? Are your heels pressing into the floor? Right? Do they want to do more than just lie there? And that's fine, go along with that. If you want to press your heels a little bit into the floor and are your knees trying to bend maybe towards that side? All right, so reach your arm a little higher so that your upper body comes a little higher, that your shoulder blades comes, yes. That your spine comes a little bit into a like, tiny twist there. That's it. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh huh. So um, rest that one more time. Let the arm come beside you. Let it come back to the floor. Relax your whole self. 
Děkuji. Good, and then let's do that again. And you can let the movement, let it become even bigger than what you have been doing. Right? So bring that arm back up in front of you, the right arm, and then begin to lift it towards the ceiling and bring the shoulder blade with you. The head rolls to that side, to the other side as well, and then lower it back down. And then lift it a little higher and allow the soles, the, the, the balls, no, what's it? The heels. <laughs> to dig into the floor a little bit. Good, yes, and your hip comes into the movement. Can you sense that? Does that, can you follow that movement? All right, so your whole body is involved in this and let it be. Yes, and maybe your knees want to bend at some point. Yeah, but let the head remain on the floor. It rolls from side to side, that's fine, right? It, yes, that's it, let the neck be soft. That's it, Chris. Good. So lift the arm a little higher over to the other side. Good. Just two or three more repetitions. Okay. And then rest that, rest both arms beside you. <clears throat> and then do bend your knees, stand your feet. And we'll try it again this way, just one last time. <laughs> yeah, find that spot where your feet are kind of under your knees, hips distance, and your thighs are not really working. Good, and then lift that right arm one more time towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Good. And then from here, begin to lift it as some, something is reaching, reach up towards the ceiling. You want to grab something there. Good. And then, yeah, roll back down again. And notice now here, if it's easier for you to bring that hip movement into the equation. So you're lifting and then one side of your hips begin to lift maybe two. And you find this organic kind of pressing of one sole of the foot into the floor. Well, just notice if you can find it. If not, it's fine. That's Totally cool. Uh -huh. Relax every time fully that you come back to the floor with the shoulder blade. Good. Okay, and then let it go. <laughs> let the arm rest, let the legs rest. Mm -hmm. And then let all that go and just notice your breath. And now notice how your whole self is on the floor, and how you distribute it. Does one side feel bigger than the other? And just notice your, your whole length and reconnect to that depth of yourself and the width. And notice the space around you. And can you sense the muscles of your face and the way you hold your face. And then allow this to be a moment where you can have a sort of private face. You're not having the face of the nice person or social person that you are, just a neutral or private face. And 
And are you able to sense the shape and the weight of your eyeballs? And the way that they sit in your skull? Can you sense your own eyelids? And then slowly begin to move your eyes a little to the right and a little to the left. Slowly, smoothly. And just see how that feels today. And just a few times to the right and to the left. And have your eyes be closed. So you're moving underneath the eyelids. The eyeballs have no light, direct light in them. And to moving the eyeballs underneath the closed eyelids, a little to the left and a little to the right. And then stop for a moment and remember to take your time with these things and to pause in between when you feel that you need to. And then move your eyes again a little to the right and a little to the left, both of them slowly and smoothly. No go, you're just rolling from one side to the other. And then bring, continue that movement and bring your attention to just your right eye. And then bring your attention to just your left eye moving to the left and to the right. And notice if it's easier for you to be with one eye more than the other. Good, and then bring that back to center, stop the movement, rest. And then now move your eyes only to the right. and to the middle, and to the right, and back to the middle. And begin to pay attention only to your right eye. And sense the, the seeing part of the eye, the, the pupil. And then observe your left eye moving only to the right and to the middle and then back to the right and back to the middle. So you're not doing the whole movement anymore, just from the middle to the right. And can you locate that seeing part, the pupil in your left eye? And then pause there, rest the eyes, no movement. Just notice your breath. And then begin to move both eyes again. And then the next time that your eyes are to the right, keep them there. Right, so your right outside corner of your right eye and uh, kind of right inside corner of the left eye. Right. And now from here, begin to move both eyes 
in a kind of little curve downwards so that you could look towards the bottom of your eyes. Right? So if you're looking into your feet. <laughs> so now your eyeballs and the pupils are in the middle of the bottom of your eye. And then curve them back up the same way around to the right corner again. Do that again. So you start with both eyes and the right corners looking to the right. And then you curve around to the bottom middle of the eyes and then back to the right corner again. So it's just like a quarter circle. So from the right outside corner down towards the middle and then up towards the right corner again. And very slowly and smoothly. And if you feel like you're getting caught up in something, stop, take a rest and then start from scratch with the movement. Make sure your jaws relaxed. And just notice what's going on in the rest of yourself and the whole length of yourself as you do this little quarter circle with your eyes. Good, and then leave it, rest for a moment. All right, and then bring your eyes back to the right. right. So right outside corner of your right eye and left inside corner of your left eye. Right inside corner of your left eye. You're looking towards the right. So you're starting the right side. And then from here, mm, turn and curve up towards the top of your eye. So you're looking into your forehead. All right, again, the quarter circle, looking up and then turn down towards the right outer corner again. And do slow movements here, repeat that quarter circle upward and then back to the right outside corner of your right eye. And moving both eyes. So you're looking up toward the middle of your eyebrows and then back towards the right. A few movements here. And notice how or, or does the curve you you do upwards feel different to the curve that you drew downwards just now. And is it smoother or less smooth? Just notice the differences in those two. And do you feel maybe something different in your neck as you do that? Or throughout the whole self, your body? Maybe one side of the body? And then when your eyes are back towards the right outer corner, do those two movements. So you're rolling down towards the bottom quarter circle and then back towards the right outer corner and then up towards your forehead again. And then back towards the right corner. So you're doing, but let there be a kind of little stop. So it's still quarter circles that you're doing. So you can compare the two. And just notice whether the curve is a curve. Um, and can you reduce the effort in both directions?
And notice your breathing. Relax the jaw. And rest fully. Let it go. Let the eyes rest. Or let them stay closed. And I'm sure that uh, you're noticing all kinds of things going on as we do these movements. Um, so as we continue, try to widen your attention to include your whole self. Right. There might be shifts and things happening in the rest of your body, but you're only really moving your eyes. Good, and then come back to moving your eyes to the right and return curving down and then back to the right and up and back to the right and down. That's not like a half circle. And then the next time that you come down to the middle of, of your eye, Increase this curve by a little bit, only yeah, come a little bit further towards the left and then come back again towards the whole right and up around the top and also increase the curve a little bit towards the left up here. So you're just increasing that half circle by a little bit. And then continue to move slow and smoothly. And notice as you do this, if you encounter any difficulties along the way that um, you can actually find that these difficulties are somewhere else in yourself, not actually in your eyes. So maybe you're stiffening your neck or your breathing changed or you discover some tension in your hands or your back or your belly. Just notice as you do this half circle that becomes a little bit bigger, is it difficult at some point? And did you tense and tense up somewhere at that point? Can you let go more? And then stop for a moment, let your eyes come back to the center and just rest in the, rest in the middle of your eyes, <laughs> oh, their sockets. And notice any sensations in your face right now. Right? Compare the sensations in your right eye to the sensations in your left eye. There might not be a difference, that's fine too, but just notice if There is. Notice your cheeks, your forehead, your mouth and your lips, your tongue, your ears. And can you also sense the way your head is lying? And without changing anything, see if you can detect from the inside where your nose is pointing to. And keep your eyes closed and just go for your subjective sensation. It doesn't even matter <laughs> where it is actually pointing. Just from your inside, what does it feel like where it's pointing to? Also notice the contact of the back of your skull with the floor. And can you feel exactly the point that is carrying weight? Again, this is subjective sensation. And does this maybe tell you something about the position that your head is in? Maybe not. And do you think that somebody looking at you from the outside could tell the, to which side you have been doing these movements? And 
Good, and then um, roll your head very slowly and just one or two times from the right to the left, very gently. Maybe notice the difference from rolling to one side and to the other. Notice if the place you come back to with the head is each time is the same, or if it changes. And then leave your head somewhere in the middle. And come back to moving your eyes to the right and then back to the middle. And just do that a few times and see how that feels now. That's the very first movement we did. So you're just looking towards the right outer corner and then back to the middle. And can you sense your breathing in your belly? Are there any changes in the sensations in your back? Or any changes in the back of your skull as you do this? And the next time your eyes are to the right, leave them there and come back to that half circles that were a bit more than half circles. And every time go a little bit further still so that slowly, slowly you start to close the gap. And then see if you could actually make a full circle, but in, in the same manner. So you're starting at the your starting point is at the right outer corner and then you're going down and around and up towards the left and then up towards the top of the head and the eyes and around towards the right. And notice the speed you're moving at. And then leave it, rest the eyes fully. Breathing. Good, and come back to that same movement one more time. So both eyes are looking towards the right outer corner first, and then start your circles going downwards, looking into your cheeks, and then a little bit further, bring them into the left corner, and then rolling up, looking into your forehead almost, and then towards your right corner again. And do less. Continue that movement of the eyes rolling in that circle. And widen your attention as you do that to your whole self. Go slower and smoother and see if you can detect these moments of difficulty being something in your whole self that is difficult and tense. Where does it jump, right? Is it a smooth circle? Is there a jump? So is it a round circle? And go slow enough that you have the time to sense through the whole length of yourself.
what are you doing in, in other parts of your body that is somehow associated with this difficulty of the movement in your eyes. And continue to sense your mouth and your tongue, your throat, as you roll your eyes in that same direction. Notice your toes and your fingers. Notice your breathing. Good, and then stop the eyes slowly, let them come back to the middle. And very softly and just once or twice, roll your head gently from right to left. Good, and then actually bring the head back to center and only roll it to the right once or twice. And just notice how that is and then roll it only to the left once or twice and notice the differences there maybe. Maybe difference in the qualities in both sides. Lovely. And then let that go. And slowly roll with the eyes remaining still close to one slide. As you can stand your feet very slowly moving, no rush. And then find a side you want to roll onto and slowly, slowly come to stand. Take your time there. And slowly just come to stand, let your arms hang by your side. Good. And if you haven't already opened your eyes, but just very softly and no go, and just gaze softly straight ahead somewhere, nothing in particular, just gaze there right into kind of gloomy eyes. And just notice in your whole self, internal sense of yourself, does one eye maybe feel larger than the other? Maybe one shoulder feels higher or broader or wider than the other, maybe not. And how is your weight distributed on your feet? And you're not fixing anything, just noticing. And then sense the area from your ear along the neck and the top of the shoulder. And two sides. How's that feel? And then walk around yourself, moving slowly though, to your left first, just once. So just walking around yourself towards your left and it doesn't have to be a circle, just move into that direction and stop when you did kind of one round. <laughs> okay. But slowly, slowly, slowly moving. Good, and then coming. So, so come back to, so you're kind of drawing a circle in some sort of way and then come back, stop there. And just, in hindsight, how did that feel? And how do you place your feet when you did that?
Good, and then walk around your, to your right. Walk around to the right of yourself. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You're just walking. You're trying to walk in a circle, but it may not even be one. <laughs> so Lucy, Chris, you stay on your spot basically, and then you walk around the right to yourself. Don't walk around the whole room because there's a point to this. <laughs> That's it. Good, and then next time you're back towards the front stop there. Good. And just close your eyes for a moment. Good. And then open your eyes again and let's try that again. So you're not trying to walk anywhere, but you you want you would like to walk around your to your left. All right. So you're off to your left and you'd like to make a circle, but it may not be a circle. Yes. And just notice how you place your feet. Good. And then when you think you've done one round, just come back and then walk around the right to yourself. Good, so you do one circle in one way and then the other circle in the other direction. And just notice how that feels, how your shoulders feel as you do these circles. Good. <laughs> and how do your muscles feel? How does your face feel while you do these right. movements? Good. And then let everything go, walk around as you would. And I will stop the recording and would like to have feedback. 